Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do the October block. Um, we're going to, these are our two pieces that are six inches. We're going to turn them into half square triangles. So you're going to take your ruler and lay it corner to corner. There's my pen. It's hot. We're going to move it just out of the way and line up. I laid the yellow line on there corner to corner. I'm going to turn it around. It's cold in my basement, so this pen is not showing up like it should. It's uh, good enough. All right, so we are going to lay these face to face and pin them. Where are my pins? All right, we're going to stitch down on our lines there. So let's head on over to the sewing machine. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and I already did one here. I'm going to go ahead and prep this. My cornerstone, <clears throat> excuse me, on one of my borders. Cornerstones on one of the borders. Because I'm going to do those as I go. So we're going to go over, over, go over and get this sewn up. going to flip it around and do it right down this way. Stop and cut this off. Then I'm going to put this one in there. Head back over. Got a little wonky there. I see it. It's fine though. It should work out just fine. All right. Let's iron it open. And iron it to this side just because it's a little bit darker. Well, it has a few more darker colors on it, I guess. I don't know. All right, we're going to trim these down. To the same size as these, which is hmm. I don't know what size they're supposed to be. Well, they're five and a quarter. I guess that's what we're going with. Is that what I put on the instructions? Do y'all remember? You probably remember. Get my sorry. All right, so we're going to line these up, the diagonal line here, and we're going to line it up as close to. We're going to line the diagonal up, and we're going to put the edge as close to these two as possible. And trim them off. I have to start a new project for these, uh, what do you call these, these extra pieces. Now we're going to line up the diagonal and then our, our five and a quarter inch line on both sides. 
and trim this off for these because my my little trash can I use is getting full and it um it's overflowing I got nothing to put it in we lined up the diagonal we'll spin it around line up the diagonal and the five and a quarter they all should fall right into place if you line one up the rest should just line right up all right and there's most of our prep work done we just have to lay out the block so pretty easy this is our candy piece right here so this is our middle piece these are our corner pieces just like in the other one the only difference between this one and the one I showed on the other video for fabric are these pieces I guess I want the houses up not that it matters all right so there it is now we're just gonna sew it together these two these two these two and then we'll go back and do those but I'm gonna take you with me to the sewing machine because I'm gonna go down through and then I'm just gonna reach over and get this one so I'm just gonna fold this one over first let's head on over whoops what is going on we'll see what that is when I cut it off grab the next one And I'll go back through and cut these off. Mm, so my thread just got caught under there. No big deal. It will be just fine. So we're going to open it up. I'll grab the other one and put on. Next one off. If you're not sure about these, don't do it like this. If you're if you're afraid you might get if you're new to it or you get them mixed up easily, just take your time and take them back to your pressing area. Mine are laid out right beside me. That's how I know they're correct. I got my other cornerstone here with my border. Cut those off. Now we'll head back over. All right, we're going to iron them to the. I guess it doesn't matter really. I'm going to iron them all to these pieces so it will line up then if I do that. I didn't cut them apart. Also, if you're not comfortable with that, don't do it. Cut them apart. Really no big deal. Right. 
top and bottom are done because they're the hardest when they're stuck together. Now I can do the middle ones. So now we'll just fold them over, line them up. So you guys, I didn't want to do, it could be terrible. You might hate it. I didn't want to do extra math, really. Plus, I wanted mine to not have points on my candy wrapper so after we do this there is a little step in between that we will do to chop off our corners and the block has to be just a little bit smaller in order for it to match up with the rest of the blocks but like I said I didn't want to do extra math. I do math all day at work. I really didn't want to do extra. All right, so we're gonna go sew these up, iron them open, and then trim off a little bit. So, I don't know if this one will let me do it, but we're going to try. Let's cut that off. No, I'm not going to do it. Let's just put in our, our ender. And flip it around this way. back over. I'm going to iron these open real quick. Iron them to the strip side, not the cornerstone side. All right, let's iron this open to the middle because there is no seams in the middle. I do have my spinner going. I have a pin on that. If y'all hear that noise, I do apologize. It's, well, spinning. All right, so there it is right now. Upside down. There it is right now. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna cut a quarter inch off of each side of this. Because, like I said, I need it to be smaller. But I didn't want to do the math to get it that way plus I wanted right now if I sewed it up I'd have a point here and I don't want that point I want uh, it to be a little bit rounded like a candy wrapper would be so what I'm doing is I'm two ways first of all 
I'm lining it up just on the quarter inch dot there over here if you see so my then my ruler will line up on this uh, line right there on the mat but also that should take my my ruler right across the point on that block now you can't do that with every side but it works with the ones that have, well yeah no that'll be on every side yes you can do that with every side and then we're just going to trim that off again if you want to do the math <laughs> that's great I'm happy for you Jeannie doesn't so we're just going to do it this way line up the edge with the dots oh yeah no oh yeah there and see then when I line up my ruler it goes straight across my point there I also make sure down here that it's lined up also because that's the line I just cut so it should be straight You're going to do it to all four sides. And then we're going to attach our border. It may seem like an extra step, but really I wanted it this way. So do yours however you want. If you want to reconfigure it and get the math right, your pieces are all going to be just a little bit bigger anyway. So you could very much change that to cut them smaller. But there it is. But plus I wanted my middle piece, my candy piece to be bigger. You know, the candy's bigger than the wrapper anyway. So now we're going to put our border on, our short border. We'll fit right on there perfectly. Pin the beginning and the the end and the middle. Flip it around, do the other side. All right. Almost done. And I realize I say this in every video, but honestly, I ran out of batting and I haven't bought more. But I will do, I got half my quilt done. The top half is all done and all put together. The last blocks I've made are not. But I will get more batting, batting, um, and I'll get them done. And we'll, we'll get caught up. dropped it <coughs> excuse me spin it around start the other side See, sometimes I have extra projects laying around and I use instead of these starters and stoppers, but I haven't done much sewing lately. I have been suffering from headaches and I don't, I don't do much. <laughs> All right, we're just going to iron it open. Oh, maybe I did something crooked on that. I'll figure it out. All right. Next one.
All right. I didn't take you with me, so sorry. There you are. Well, I re-ironed it, but I already ironed it, but you've seen me iron, so we're not going to redo it. I promise. It was just like last time. We're just going to line up our, our final borders. And do some pinning. I pin both the seams first. The seams in the front or the beginning and the end. Sort of. And then the middle. Just one in the middle is good for me. Spin it around. Do the same thing. The beginning. Ooh, that needle seen better days. Pin, needle, pin. It's a pin. And then one in the middle. You can certainly put more in the middle, especially if you're new to this. I recommend it. We're gonna sew this right up. Those pins. If I don't take the pins out as I go, I forget and I get I get clipped with them. And that's not fun. it apart It. We're done. This time I'll take you back with me. Welcome. All right, let's iron it open. I was going to do a pumpkin for her this month, but. I'm going to do a pumpkin next month. So there's a little hint. It's, you know, pumpkin is for Thanksgiving and Halloween candy is for Halloween. All right. Let's turn it with the things up. There it is. Or Halloween candy. Let me turn this off. It's our Halloween candy. Trick or treating. Whatever. See how I don't have the points. And I feel like that's how a candy wrapper looks. Like I said. If you want the points. Just cut your blocks each a little smaller. But I can't help you with that. You're going to have to do that math on your own. I love you and everything. But it ain't me today. It ain't me. So there you go.
I don't know why it's laying a little crooked, but probably because I have it puffed up. I don't know. But there it is. Halloween candy, our October block. I hope you make the block and love it. I can't wait to see yours. Have a great day.